How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today, we're about versus Charisific Valley in the Smogon Overuse tier. Go check out Charisific Valley's channel. They do really good stuff, really good battle content. Honestly, go check them out. Link in the description down below. I leave it in your hands. Stick around till the end for a rental code of the team. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Charisific Valley. So they're going to lead off with Cleavor. As I expected as I lead off with Goldengo. So, I didn't think they'd lead with Samurai because I figured Ribombe was an obvious lead on my behalf. So, I figured they'd probably lead with this thing to counteract that more. So, I'm going to go for straight for a Make It Rain. Why not? And um, they do go for a Night Slash and they are Choice Scarfed. Because I'm Choice Scarfed. Which means we do get the KO here with the Make It Rain, which is fantastic. However, they have weakened my Goldengo severely with the Cleavor there. So, good low play on their behalf. Um, Goldengo is obviously a big threat to a lot of people's teams. Uh, it's a very good Pokemon in general. I don't actually like using it, but I'm using it just for the yellow team. <laughs> okay, in comes Samrot now. This thing can take us out with a priority move if it wants to, but it probably goes for a Season Sedge Gnome. We have to switch out here. But don't necessarily know what Choice Scarf since we got outsped by the Cleavor, so we can still use that in our back pocket later if we want to. I'm leaning towards the Ribombe. I think I will go with the Ribombe switch just because it takes the Season Sedge pretty well. Um, so let's just see how that plays out for us. So we're going to Squire the Ribombe. They do go for a Cease the Sedge and they do unfortunately miss. So that's a bit of unfortunate hacks on their behalf. Um, but you know what? I'm not bothered because now I get a free Moonblast off. So I'm going to go for a Moonblast on this thing. I'm not going to get up with the webs because the Great Tusk is right there. And the Dragon Ball's probably clear body, etc. They go for a Cease the Sedge anyway. It does over half. And um, they are Choice Scarf on that as well because it outsped the Ribombe. Which is really interesting. So two Choice Scarf Mons. We go for a Moonblast and once again, it's going to KO the Samurai. So um, we're doing well here. <laughs> Both their um, attack hazard set up uh, like Cleavor and Samurai are down, which is good. Dragapult comes in. So is this thing going to be Choice Scarf as well? Or um, I'm going to, I do want to switch out because I've, I'm, I'm fearing a lot here. Uh, with the Dragapult against the Ribombe. Shadow Ball definitely KOs us. So I do kind of want to go in Scrafty. So I'm going to go in Scrafty real quick. If they are a support set with Will-O-Wisp. Then we do have the Shed Skin. So we can kind of like sometimes heal against that. So that's not too bad. And um, they go for a Hex. So they are that set. So they are the Hex set. So that's good to know. And um, this is the Shed Skin Scrafty, right? Yes, yeah, Shed Skin. So I might go for a Dragon Dance here. But there's no point because that Great Tusk is right there. Right there, and it's probably coming in next. Um, let's go for a knockoff. Even if they will o us, but it's not the end of the world because we can shed skin it later. So they withdraw the Dragon Ball, not wanting to get hit by that knockoff, which makes a lot of sense. And they're going to go into Great Tusk the Beaming, which is going to come in, probably be booster energy. No, no booster energy. We're going to get a knockoff off there. We'll knock off that crucial Rocky Helmet, which is going to do a bit of damage to us first. Um, that knockoff did absolutely zero. That's going to be a defensive Tusk, right? gotta be a defensive tusk so i kind of want to get the sun up now um i just do kind of want to get the sun up now which would be really nice the golden go mm, ribombe is not really doing much for us i guess i could bring ribombe in as a, as a, as a switch but that clods eye just switches in every single time so ribombe is pretty much useless at this point so i'd rather get it in on a potential close combat potentially live it and go for a potential um sticky webs maybe so they go for an EQ. We, sh we might live that. We don't live that. No way. <laughs> we definitely don't live that. I was just looking at the animation and I was like, just from the animation alone, even though it has absolutely zero to do with the damage output, I was like, yeah, we're not living that. We're not living that. So, what do we go into? I'm leaning towards Ninetales so we can go for a Will-O-Wisp. That'd be great. Um, the only problem with Ninetales is that it does set things up for that Charizard pretty well. Um, I don't unfortunately have Stealth Rocks on this team. I couldn't see where I could fit it on. As you know, looking at my Pokemon. <laughs> they have to be yellow after all. Um, so I'm leaning towards maybe a Make It Rain from the Goldengo here. That could be cool. Um, they don't really have a lot to switch in there. So we could do that. I think we should do that. I think we should go into Goldengo. Because we do live the spikes, right? Yeah, we do live the spikes, yeah. So I want to go for a make it rain, but I also want to kind of trick this thing. I kind of want to trick the incoming Clod's Eye potential. Because they won't expect it, right? They're probably going to go Clod's Eye here. So let's trick. Let's potentially trick a Clod's Eye. That would be really cool. So they withdraw the Great Tusk. Hopefully we see a Clod's Eye switch and not a Charizard switch here. 
They do bring Charizard in there, which is a very good play because now the Charizard is going to be tricked a Choice Scarf, which it might already be Choice Scarfed. Um, let's see what they, uh, what they are real quick. So uh, they obtained a Choice Scarf. We obtained a Choice Specs. Ah, so that's interesting. So let's go for a Shadow Ball here just because... They might go for an air slash predicting something else like a nine tails to come in. They do go for the scorching sands, so that's good to know. The choice scarf with scorching sands, and um, they've got another choice scarf user now. <laughs> another choice scarf user, so that's pretty cool. Um, so we know they're locked into the scorching sands. We can go into raging bolt here. They definitely have to switch out. So let's go into raging bolt with our air balloon. Go into good old neck game. There we go. And there we go. Uh, floating the air with our air balloon, which is always nice. Now, we 100% expect the Kludzai or the Great Tusk to come in, so we make a double here. I'm now going to go ahead and withdraw into Ninetales, expecting either Kludzai or Great Tusk to come in. They do go Kludzai. I think a Kludzai was more likely because if, if we go for a Dragon Pulse, you know. So, we withdraw. We go into Ninetales. And the great thing about the Ninetales switch here is that we can Encore this thing. We can burn it with Will-O-Wisp, reducing that Earthquake's power. And we need to get rid of the Kludzai, first and foremost. That's, that's, that's what we need to get rid of. Before we do anything with a Raging Bolt. But Raging Bolt could pull this back. That's that's for sure. So let's go for a Will-O-Wisp first. And burn this thing. So we burn the, we burn the Claude's Eye. So it's Earthquake isn't going to hurt as much. Which is great. They probably go for a Toxic or a Stealth Rox here. If I had to guess. Um, as they do go for a Stockpile. Stockpile? Are you unaware are you Water Absorb? That's the real question. Are you unaware are you Water Absorb? So they go for the Stockpile. Um, which is fine and all. What we can do here is we can just Encore it into Stockpile and then we can just keep Encoring it into Stockpile and there's nothing they can really do to the Ninetales, so we have to force a switch here. So we go for an Encore, which is going to make them have to go for a Stockpile every single turn, which is what we're going for here as they go for another Stockpile again thanks to the Encore, which is fantastic. So they Stockpile 2, that boosts the defenses even further. But you know what? It's fine because the burn plus the fire blast and the sun damage. Well, the leftovers negates the burn a bit, but um, the, the burn plus the uh, fire blast in the sun is definitely going to, you know, do some damage over time. We win, the, we win the battle of attrition here. So let's go for a fire blast. There we go. Fire blast comes through. They actually stay in to go for another stockpile, which is interesting. They go for the other stockpile. There we go. The burn to gain the leftovers is what's crucial here because it means if we do miss a fire blast, it's not the end of the world. They're not going to get too much HP back after they've got their defenses so high. But like I said, they are locked in stockpile. I think you can only stockpile up to three times. I'm pretty sure you can only stockpile up to three, three times before it fails. Um, so let's go for another fire blast. There's no real reason not to. They withdraw the clods out because they realized we can just stay in and go with Encore, Encore, Encore. And they go into Charizard. Now Charizard is going to get some damage from this fire blast if we can hit it we do hit it uh, a nice bit of damage in the sun and they have solar power so we are in a very good position we can definitely take a solar power if we terror um uh, not solar power we can definitely take a scorching sands if we terror i think we can take scorching sands anyway so i might just go for another fire blast to be honest with you uh i'm not 100 sure what i want to do here because i don't know what this thing's going to do so let's go for a fire blast once again they do go for Scorching Sands, obviously they outspeed us because of the Choice Scarf. I knew we could take at least one of those. Um, and we can hit the Fire Blast? No, we can't hit the Fire Blast, which is really annoying. So, um, knowing that they're locked into that though, we can go into Raging Bolt now. Since it has got the Air Balloon. Um, so we may as well do that. We may as well do that. And then what we can do is get our Protosynthesis and Special Attack here. And go for a Dragon Pulse, predicting the Clods Eye to come in. And then we should be able to two-shot the uh, Clods Eye. Because Unaware doesn't take into consideration Protosynthesis boosts. If you didn't know. Um, so they go for the Scorching Sands. And obviously it fails because of the Air Balloon. Which is great. And the Solar Power is going to take into effect. We go for a Dragon Pulse 100% of the time here. We are not playing around with this Charizard with Solar Power. At all. They withdraw the Charizard. What are they going to go into to take a Dragon Pulse? Uh, Clod's Eye. Okay, Clod's Eye comes in. That's, that thing can definitely take at least one Dragon Pulse, that's for sure. But let's see how much damage it does. As it does a... cool. that's a lot of damage. The Harsh Sunlight does fade, but we do outspeed. So it's not the end of the world, as we can just go straight for another Dragon Pulse and take out this Clod's Eye. And that is what I wanted to do. I wanted to take out this Clod's Eye in some way, shape, or form. Um, knowing the Charizard's locked in is a choice, is a choice variant. We know it's not got any uh, status moves. 
Um, so let's go for a Dragon Pulse again. Just take this thing out. There we go. Dragon Pulse comes through. Clod's Eye goes down. We're in a good position right now. Raging Bolt could be the way forward here. Raging Bolt could be the way to win. Dragon Pulse comes in. This thing's probably going to have Draco Meteor right now. Um, if it does, then we're kind of boned. But I, I think what I want to do is I want to get the sun up again. So I'm going to bring Ninetales in to die. So we bring Net Game back. And we're going to go into our good old nine tails to go to go down to a dragon darts they usually have dragon darts with hex it's usually the case and um, but we get the draft up at least which is going to power up our um raging bolt as well as their charizard unfortunately they do terrestrialize with the dragon pool what are they going to terrestrialize into though oh oh berry steel interesting so terra steel dragon pool is an interesting one so um, if they've got Hex, we know they've got will o -Wisp, which means they can't really Thunderclap them. They do go for the Draco Meteor, and they do miss, which is unfortunate because it means they're not going to get that special attack drop anymore. Um, let's go for the will o -Wisp just in case, but we can't switch Ninetales out because we can't switch it back in again. They go for a Hex, finishes off, so they don't have to get that special attack drop, which is unfortunate, as uh, down goes Ninetales. So that is unfortunate, but it is what it is at the end of the day. It is what it is. So let's go ahead... I kind of want to force that, that I want to force that dra that Draco Meteor right now. So I'm going to go Scrafty. I'm going to go Scrafty. I think Scrafty can live a Draco Meteor from this thing because it's not choice specs. I think we go for a Drain Punch here. We're going to be all right. So they withdraw the Dragon Pool. They're going to go Great Tusk more than likely. I doubt they go Charizard. Yeah, Great Tusk the Beaming comes in. That thing comes in. Gets the Protosynthesis in defense, probably. Yeah, defense. There we go. So that's unfortunate. Um, as it means our Drain Punch is going to bounce right off them. But you know what? It's not the end of the world. And um, we do have... I do want to keep Scrafty around for the Dragapult. That's for sure. I don't think we need to, though. I really don't think we need to. I think we can probably go for a Dragon Dance here. I don't think they have close combat because they're defensive. So I think we go for a Dragon Dance here. 100% of the time we go for Dragon Dance. We even outspeed them, which means they are definitely a defensive Great Tusk. Definitely a good defensive Great Tusk right now. Um, so let's see how this goes. They go for a Rapid Spin, which is going to boost their speed, which is fair enough. I'm going to go for another Dragon Dance here because they have to go for an Earthquake at this point, right? They have to go for an Earthquake. We go for a Dragon Dance once again. Scrafty could pull this back. Scrafty could pull this back with a, with a plus, two, uh, plus two speed and plus two attack. They go for a body press. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I, I, I've i seen defensive great tusk with body press before, but it's pretty uncommon, I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. Um, I could be wrong there. Um, but anyway, let's go into our armor rouge. Armor rouge can definitely do some stuff here. In the sun with its armor cannon, maybe. Because I, I'm... <laughs> I kind of want to terror. I don't think I want to terror my uh, Raging Bolt. Although it is Terra Fairy. We could Terra Fairy. We could Terra Fairy with it. Um, I think we can take an Earthquake anyway. So I'm going to go for the Armor Cannon in the Sun. I don't want to go for the Stored Power because we haven't set up yet. So they go for an EQ, which probably won't KO us, right? It does? What is this Great Tusk set? Like, is it really defensive? Because that shouldn't have KO'd us, right? I should have, I should have terrored. I should have terrored. Oh, well, it's fine. Uh, net game comes in. Net game comes in. Floats in the air of his air balloon. Gets that Protosynthesis in special attack. Um, it all comes down to this. It all comes down to this. Do we, do we terror here? We don't terror here. There's no point terroring here. We go for a Dragon Pulse here 100% of the time. Because even though they're going to go for a body press, we want to bait in that Draco Meteor from the Dragon Pulse and Terror Fairy. That's what we want to do. They go for the body press. It does a lot of damage for the, for, for, thanks to the Protosynthesis in defense. Uh, Dragon Pulse comes through. And that's going to definitely get KO'd there. So the Great Tusk goes down, which is fantastic. Great Tusk out of the way means that they have to go Dragon Pulse here, right? They can't go uh, Charizard. They can't go Charizard, that's for sure. Char they go Charizard. They go Charizard here. Interesting. So we're just going to Thunderclap because there's no real reason not to. Thunderclap comes through. Charizard goes down. I think they're trying to the wait. They, they, they're trying to drain out the sun so I don't have the Protosynthesis. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing, and it does work. So that's a good play. Good play. And um, without the Protosynthesis, we don't necessarily care the Dragapult here. So Dragapult comes in the Galar Champ. We have to Terra Fairy here, and we Thunderbolt. 
We 100% Thunderbolt here with the Terra Fairy. That's what we have to do. So there we go. We're going to Terrastalize into our Fairy Typing. Hopefully, this is enough to win the game. I'd love to get a W with this team for a change. Um, that's for sure. So let's see how this plays out. It's, it's interesting how they lost two Pokemon straight away, but they managed to pull it back. There's the Draco Meteor. Perfect. Perfect. So we're able to go for a Thunderbolt now. Which will do enough damage to the Dragapult. And we get the Paralysis. Oh, wow. Yikes. But they are Lumberry by the looks of it. Oh, no, they're not Lumberry. The Citrus Berry. Nice. Nice. So I can Thunderbolt now. I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about no Thunderclap shenanigans. And we take out the Dragapult. And we barely win with our Raging Bolt. GG, Charisific Valley. Once again, go check out his channel. Definitely really good stuff. Um, link in the description down below. GG, GG. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Let me know if you do try it. I want to hear your success stories. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.